Hey y'all, I know it's been a minute since we've posted over here on the family channel, but I'm here today to share a video with you on how I canned some potatoes. I got a 50 pound bag, I think, of potatoes from Azure Standard, and I'm gonna can them in this video. Now, the video is gonna show a lot of Christmassy things in the background. That's because that's when I actually filmed the canning of the potatoes. I actually have several videos where I've done some canning over the winter, and I'm gonna share those with y'all. So if you see Christmas trees in the background and you know just all the Christmas decor, that is why that's when I actually filmed that portion of this video. The day is current. I'm actually doing this intro on the actual day of the video. So it is Sunday. Hope everyone's having a blessed Sunday. Okay, and full disclosure here, this is just how I can potatoes. So do your own research if you decide that you wanna can some potatoes. We love this method. I use them in soups and stews and make mashed potatoes and all the things with them. I've never had a problem with canning potatoes this way. But you know, full disclosure is always do your research on proper canning techniques and different things like that. Even though I am using a lot of those practices, I have to put that in here on a YouTube video. Do your research. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is get my jars washed. They've been sitting on my back porch. Got me some hot soapy water over here. So I'm gonna get these washed and over here draining. And then we're gonna start peeling potatoes and getting them ready to can. Okay, I've recruited me a little bit of help. We're gonna see how this goes. Riot's already getting frustrated. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. You can't do it, do you need me to help you? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna see how many potatoes they can get done, and I'm gonna be working in the background as well. Okay, we found a different job for Riot. He's gonna fill this basket up every time we need some more potatoes. So that's his job for now. You're doing a great job, Riot. Good job. So, Riley, you're doing so good. Thank you. She just might be a little canner yet. I'm gonna teach her how. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm filling a stainless steel bowl full of cold water and I'm gonna add just a little bit of... Uh, oh, right, he's telling Biz what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna put just a dash of this in there to keep my potatoes from turning because it is gonna take us a hot minute to peel 20 pounds of potatoes. Okay, so this one has a bad spot, so I just told Briley to let me kind of cut those bad spots out. Hey, do. And um, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cube them as she gets done and as I get done. I'm gonna cube them up and put them in this big thing of cold water, just because I don't want them to turn brown while I'm, you know, cutting everything else up. So I'm gonna, she's gonna continue peeling. We got, a, Elizabeth is supposed to be in here in a minute to help us. I'm gonna peel and then I'll chop and put in the bowl. Oh, so I'm going to do this. You're going to cut them and wrap them here? Okay. This job is really easy. Okay, I'm going to cut mine just about like this because I don't want them really mushy in the jar. That's why I'm going to do the cold pack method. Um, some methods have you boil them for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, what you hey, right, right. <laughs> hey, let me, me finish talking real quick, okay? Then you can sing. That's so pretty. But anyway, I don't want them to be so mushy. Even though I'm probably going to use a lot of them for mashed potatoes, but I want some that I can put in like a soup or a stew also. So that's why I'm, I'm going to put mine in and do the cold pack method instead of boiling them first. Okay, so this is where we're at on the potato peeling party so far. I'm about to start canning because we're kind of running out of bowl space. So I did get a two gallon bucket over there. The girls are still hard at it. Larry was helping me, he had to stop and take a break. But um, I don't know if I said a while ago that I was doing the cold pack method. What I meant was I'm doing the raw pack method. I'm not going to, um, boil my potatoes first. I'm gonna put them in hot jars with hot water and then can them, but I'm not gonna boil and cook my potatoes for like 10 minutes like some people do ahead of time because I feel like it makes them too, too mushy. 
So I've decided to do um, raw pack. I think earlier I said cold pack. I meant raw pack method. So anyway, I am getting my digital canner out. I have a digital pressure canner. I'm gonna plug it in, start filling some jars, and put some salt in and some boiling hot water. But I've gotta get these jars hot first. So I'm about to come over to my sink, get rid of all this, put some scalding hot. Our water gets very hot. So what I do is I just take and put my jars in the sink in some very, very hot water, fill them up with hot water, let them sit in here for about five minutes. Then I'll start putting the potatoes in, the hot water, the salt, and all that. So I'll show y'all how I do all of it. But that's where we're at right now and what we're about to start working on next. Okay, um, so what I'm going to use for my hot water instead of having to do boiling water on the stove is I have this little thing right here you can fill up with water and it like boils your water really fast and then I can pour it and I'm going to use filtered water out of my fridge instead of just tap water. I really want a Berkey. If any of y'all own a Berkey, let me know if you like it. So anyway, I'm going to fill this up, get this heated to boiling and this is the boiling water that I'm going to add over my potatoes. Okay, so now I'm going to start draining potatoes, rinsing them two or three times, and putting them in jars. So you want to make sure that they are really, really clean. I have mine soaking in that lemon water right now, but I am going to um, rinse them really, really well before I start filling up my jars over there that's in the other sink. And also, look at all that starch that comes from those potatoes from just them soaking in the cold water. I do this when I make mashed potatoes or french fries or anything also. You can see all that milky looking color is starch coming out of these potatoes. So now all I'm going to do, I went ahead and put my potatoes just in some scalding hot water just so everything is kind of the same temperature. The potatoes are not ice cold going in hot jars with hot water. So I've got my jars ready. About to start filling them up. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt, clean my rim. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to debubble. Place my rims and my, or my lids in my rims and then place them in the canner. y'all i just got home a little while ago and all of my potatoes are finished canning okay i hope that y'all enjoyed that canning video i do have several videos coming out showing me doing a bunch of canning again it was filmed in the winter time so i'm just slowly kind of getting those out let us know what kind of videos you would enjoy seeing here on the channel we don't want to just put up videos vlogging our day we want to put up things that is it's actually useful for y'all. So tell us what kind of content you are interested in. I know it's been a hot minute since we've been on here and I will kind of go more into detail and why that happened and what's happening there in a future video. But for now, we are just gonna try to go ahead and get these videos out to y'all and get your feedback and see what you're interested in doing or excuse me, not doing, see what you're interested in seeing. So let us know down in the comments. And until then, we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and we'll see you really soon. 
with a brand new video.